We start tonight in Dixon. The Unified School District says a student posted a racist message about black people on Instagram this week, and it happened on Wednesday, the first day of Black History Month. ABC 10's Race and Culture reporter Candace Red is live tonight, and Candace school leaders held a news conference today, and they're now responding. Yes, that's right, Chris. Good evening to you. The Dixon Unified School District says they're focused on safety. This after school officials say a parent reported a racist Instagram post to staff at John Knight Middle School. Taking a look at your screen, you're looking at video of the campus right now. The school district launched an immediate investigation. They learned a seventh grader at John Knight put the racist post on their personal Instagram page on Wednesday during lunch. It included individual and group photos of about 20 black and mixed race students, along with a picture of the school's first black principal, Camila O'Connor. The post also included a banner reading Happy Black History Month, followed by a derogatory word. Parents, some who did not want to be on camera, say enough is enough. I'm upset about it because it shouldn't have happened. But at the same time, I want Dixon to implement the correct cultural training and structure so our kids don't have to go through this. Yeah, I was just disgusted and more so just hurt for the fact of on my son's behalf. Having to explain this to him that, that somebody violated his privacy and, and disrespecting him to that magnitude and then watching his reaction was just something that was unsettling to me. During today's press conference, the district addressed parents' concerns. We also learned that the student who posted the photos and hateful message is no longer welcomed on campus, at least at this time. The district says other students also played a role, like taking the photos and planning the hateful act. Well, school officials are still working on identifying everyone involved to take the appropriate disciplinary action and coming back out to you live right in front of the district office again at ABC 10. We stand for you. That means being transparent in our storytelling, our race and culture team, along with news management and staff we met today to figure out if we should read the racist Instagram post word for word on air. We chose not to, and that's simply because we want to make sure that we are not unintentionally harming our communities. Chris. And we should also point out the school district says staff members are providing support to students and families impacted by that post. Candace, thank you.